back to Dare Wears! Woo! We're doing the thing I hate the most today. I don't know what other chore I'd rather do. Probably like sweeping and mopping because I hate cleaning and doing inventory. I think it's a good spreadsheet. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is your favorite thing to do. Yeah, I like doing the purge, clearing everything out. Everything feels like weights off the shoulders. And most people do this during spring. <laughs> When it's warming up and the flowers are blooming. We're cosplayers and we ain't got time yeah. for that stuff. Don't you know what springtime is for cosplayers? We're, we're cosplaying, we're building, we're going to con. We should be prepping and building prior to that, but we are procrastinating. We don't do that. We're hot gluing the night before. Yeah. And we don't have to clean. We clean now. Yeah. Winter. <laughs> Fall time. <laughs> Today we're going to be teaching you how to sort and organize sort your wigs. Yeah. I am a hoarder. I hang on to everything. I enlisted the help of Chrissy to help me determine it's time to let some of these wigs go. We're gonna start with this girl. So are we keeping it? We're keeping it. Okay. Number two. Keep. I think we're keeping this one. Just doesn't look good on me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm the Laura. Strands everywhere. Chewbacca. <laughs> he stinks though. Fresh. Yeah. Elsa. Cool. Oh, she long. Oh. <laughs> We're getting rid of six wigs total, and then I think we're keeping <laughs> maybe 12. If you yourself want to watch this while you're going through your wig collection, we would love to hear it in the comments below. Giving us some fun ideas, thoughts, you requests. Request. Requests. requests. We're open to it. I have disappeared into the ether of wigs. <laughs> all right, you ready to wash them all? <laughs> yes, let's go. All right, everybody, we got the goods. We got the goods and the gone. treasure. Yes, you walk into the Sally Beauty Supply. I do like this newer one that we went to. It's really, really great. By the way, don't like film in public places, especially if they like don't allow it. So uh, we're just gonna insert this clip of Chrissy's hand. Cause you can film like your hand. I just, I don't believe in like filming other people while they're like shopping. It gets a little weird. So like we have a, a yeah. clip of generally where it's at in the store. We also want to make sure that we ask and like yeah. they were way too busy for us to go bit off and be like, hey, can we film in your store? Yeah. So respect. Respect your retail workers. Yeah. Do it. Consider. Um, and it's gonna be like with your brush cleaning stuff or your hair color stripping stuff or other materials and tools like capes and things. Nice. But you just ask them, where's the ship shape? And no, no. you can get it locally. You don't have to have a license to go and get it at hmm. the, that's like a salon or like a, you know, a professional supply store. Okay, cool. So yeah, Sally Beauty carries it. I know nice. Amazon also carries it. <gasps> really? Yeah. Insert Amazon link. And it's only like a few bucks. It's not expensive at all. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool. Love that. All right, let's go wash some wags. 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 <laughs> Ew, wow. I hated that. That was bad. I hated that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to be trendy. It's the glasses. They're changing oh, me. Yeah, I'm a new person. Who, who are you? I'm, I'm, a new, I'm like a movie star. I don't have to say anything properly anymore. Okay, bye. Generally, you're gonna wanna take all of your wigs out. You're gonna wanna brush them. You don't necessarily have to, but if they're naughty and ratty and just a hot mess, you're gonna wanna brush them, because you cannot, and I repeat, please do not brush your wigs wet. Don't do it. You're gonna start to deconstruct them and pull them apart, and then they're gonna be shedding everywhere, and it's a hot mess. So brush your wigs out as best you can with a wet brush or a wide tooth comb. You can also use what my roommate, Jessica Mills, who's a brilliant wig maker and I use, which is dog brushes. You get those at Walmart. They're really inexpensive and they're great. Ship Shape is awesome. Ship Shape is made by the makers of Barbicide. 
A lot of hairstylists use this to disinfect and clean their brushes and their hairstyling tools. And Ship Shape is made for cleaning combs and brushes. I do it on my hair brushes all the time. But we use it on the wigs as well because it kind of takes off this film that's on the wigs called sizing. And a lot of people don't know that they're allergic to it until they are allergic to it. Um, so yeah, we, you know, tablespoon or teaspoon rather mixed in with some hot water. I have it in different buckets here. And what I'm doing is agitating. I'm kind of like shuffling kind of like on my own little wash machine with the wig and just thoroughly cleaning it, thoroughly cleaning it, getting all the oil, dirt, makeup, grease, everything, hair products out of it. And that's kind of what we do over and over and over again. We are gonna have to rinse at some point, but we don't rinse obviously in the same bucket and try not to rinse in the sink unless your sink is immaculate and perfectly clean. So what I end up doing is I'll empty this out, put all the wigs into one bin, and then I'm just kind of like refilling the other bin after I rinse it out with clean, fresh, you know, warm water. I try to keep the water warm. See how there's still some residue in there? It's a little yellowy. You want to rinse until the water is clear, kind of like when you dye your hair. Because it looks like you peed in the bucket. Oh my gosh. You don't want it to look like that. <laughs> we don't want it to look like you peed in the bucket. <laughs> but yeah, so continue to rinse and rinse and rinse. And that's soaking. Um, I wouldn't just hold it underneath the faucet. You want to soak and squeeze. <laughs> and then once you've squeezed out as much water out of the clean wigs, we're going to put them in a little spin cycle. We have this trim, this like portable, compact mini washer dryer. We've done the spin cycle on them and now they're all completely drained. So now we're hanging the wigs. I like to hang them by themselves, let them dry, put a fan on them if you want for the drip drips, put a towel underneath it. If you don't have a portable washer or dryer, you're gonna want to just squeeze as best as you can. I lay them flat on a towel. Um, you could take a fan, like a fan or a cool setting blow dryer to them and go ahead and just do that, but oftentimes, if you have control access to a spin cycle on a machine, that's also great. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. All right, now that we're back from washing our wigs, all 5,000 of them, <laughs> so they're all fresh and they're all clean, everything's all nice, they feel soft and ready to be restyled, so you can put all that hair product right back on top of them. Did you have any questions about washing wigs? Is it something you can get into the habit of doing? Who, me? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I definitely will be more aware of washing them. I mean, I knew it was a thing, but it wasn't something I really thought of. But I'm glad we did this. Glad I learned a lot from it. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions on wig washing. Uh, I think the next step for us is to actually style a wig. Yeah, so let's start styling some of these. Stick around, subscribe so that way you don't miss it, and we'll see you in the next video. Yay. <laughs> That's, no. a, that's another video. How many wigs can we put on top of wigs, on top of wigs, on top of wigs, wigs on your head? How many wigs can you wear? Here you want angel dust. I mean, there's a lot of performers and <clears throat> drag queens that do it, which is so impressive. There it is. Gorgeous. My my wig needs a hat. Uh, my hat. My hat needs a wig. Gorgeous. <laughs> she looks so gorgeous. So pretty. Bye.